Hello, hello. It's Tuesday. This is Jennifer Sinceri, and I am a Stamping Up Independent Demonstrator. And tonight, we're going to play with Snow Wonder. This is a sweet, sweet stamp set. And it's so realistic. I haven't played with this stamp set enough, to be honest with you. I started playing with it, and I said, oh my gosh, I love the detail in this stamp set. So we're going to be making three cards tonight. Go ahead and let me know that you are watching. Let me know who's here. Would you put your name in the comment box? Let me know where you're from. If it's your first time watching. Um, I always come on Tuesdays and Fridays at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, Lord willing, <laughs> when my life, my crazy life allows that. Uh, let's see. I also post these videos onto my YouTube channel, which is also called Stamping with Jennifer Sinceri. You can find me there. You can find me here on Facebook, and I also have an Instagram account. Hello, Linda. Happy Tuesday, friend. I hope you're doing well. We are having windy, cold weather here in California in the Sacramento Valley. Uh, I think we had gusts of about 20 miles per hour last night. We have a little weather station in our backyard. My husband is a want-to-be meteorologist. <laughs> All right. So without further ado, let's get started, okay? I'm going to set this aside. I just have uh, two bis uh, housekeeping business type related announcements. So tomorrow is November 10th, which means that this will, tomorrow will be the last day to sign up for this kit. This is Gifts Galore. It is our monthly paper pumpkin subscription. So if you want this kit and it is so stinking cute, <coughs> you're going to want to make sure you, <coughs> excuse me, subscribe by tomorrow. Mm. I had to take a swig of my sparkling water here. Okay. So lots of ways you can do this. You can sign up and subscribe every month. You can just pay for the one month. Lots of options, okay? I'll talk about Paper Pumpkin in another video, but this is going to be um, not available after tomorrow. So if you love it, you're going to want to sign up, okay? All right. And also, we have an early release. This is a stamp and die bundle that is coming in the January mini catalog but you are able to order it now. So there's the stamps and the dies. The dies are very intricate. They're lovely. But let me tell you, the designer series paper, cotton paper, and gems are while supplies last. So these will not be available in the mini catalog. You'll want to order those now if you love them. You can find them on the website stampingup.com okay all right like i said we're going to play with snow wonder if you have a mini catalog it is on page 21 this is a returning favorite we had it last year in our holiday catalog and they brought it back i'm so glad they did it has seven stamps so you've got several, I think three here, sentiments, and then you've got four images. And it does have coordinating dies, okay? It is not sold as a bundle this time because um, it's not a brand new set. We had it last year. But you can purchase the dies to go with it. They're $33, and the stamp set is $22. That's on page 21 in your mini catalog. All right. Then in our annual catalog, I am going to use a couple items tonight. I am pulling that snowflake embossing folder again. 
Let me make sure that you guys can see in the camera. All right. So on page 155, the Wintry 3D, it is a two-pack. You get pine boughs and snowflakes for $10. I am also using the Scallop Contour dies. I use these quite often. I'm going to be using this one right here. Okay, that's on page 158. And I'm also going to use one of the basic border dies. I'm actually using the one that looks like bubbles. We're going to make it into snow tonight. All right. So that being said, let's get started. Okay. Now I want to show you something really cool about these dies. We've got dies that will cut out the images. That's our snowman. These are the trees. And then two sentiments but we also we have the wreath and then there's these guys and you get two of them and i'm going to hold them up close they actually emboss okay so these dies when you use them they will emboss on your paper and i've done that on one of our inserts of our card so let me show it to you so you can see it all right so um, it's on white paper, but hopefully you can see the embossing there. All right. So just in the corner, it's very faint. And then I did it again on the bottom corner. I'll hold that up so you can see it. Hopefully, hopefully the camera is focusing. There we go. It doesn't like white on white. Okay. So that's what these guys do. They emboss for you. So that's cool, isn't it? You get two of those. All right. Okie dokie. Let's stamp. So I told you this stamp is very realistic. So I've mounted my stamp and I am going to use my Tuxedo Black Memento ink pad. I like to hold it in my hand and then ink up my stamp this way to make sure that I get a good coverage on my stamp. All right. And then we're going to stamp this guy, nice even pressure. And then look at that. Isn't that lovely? I just love this stamp image. Look at how realistic that is. Look at the scarf. Look at all the detail in the scarf and his hat. I just love it. So that's our snowman. Okay. Let me show you what the trees look like. We're going to do the same thing just to make sure that I get nice, even coverage. I hold the ink pad in my hand and we'll stamp these trees. Yeah, you don't actually have to color on this one. Okay, so there are the trees. All right, and then let's look at our little snowflakes. Okay, there's the snowflakes. There you go, okay. And then I haven't mounted the wreath, but I'll show you the wreath. Let's do the wreath real quick, okay because I want you to see how awesome the detail is on these stamps. This is, this is a real good stamp set. It's a keeper. All right. Okay. I didn't put my sticker on this one, but that's okay. Let's ink it up so you can see. And there's the wreath. All 
Isn't that lovely? Okay, so those are all the images. Let me put my little snowflakes back on here. All right, I to save time, I've already stamped my images and I started to color. I did color on some of them. You don't have to color them, but I wanted to. So we're going to start the first card. Okay, and I'm going to take my bone folder and I'm going to make a nice crisp crease fold. Okay, basic card base dimensions. All right, and that is our basic gray cardstock just so you know what color i'm using and then i took some of our um cherry cobbler cherry cobbler and i just cut that a quarter of an inch smaller so we're going to go ahead and adhere this I don't see my silicone mat. <laughs> I should have grabbed it. All right, we'll have to be really careful and make sure we don't get adhesive on the placemat. Because when you do that, it tears your paper. That's why I like my silicone mat. <clears throat> because I don't have to worry about ruining my paper. Okay, make sure it's nice and centered. Very easy card layouts, but they're going to have a wow factor to them. Our products make you feel successful. Um, any level of ability can make beautiful cards. And that's what I, I like to show you is that it doesn't have to be complicated. It doesn't have to be difficult. All right, now I cut my basic white paper a quarter of an inch smaller now. And you can see that I ran this through that lovely snowflake embossing folder that I mentioned, right? Now I've told you this, this embossing folder does not cover the whole piece of paper. You're going to have a part that does not get embossed. That's okay, because what I'm going to do is I'm covering this with designer series paper, right? So let's adhere this layer. When you emboss, there's going to be a raised side and there's going to be a, I don't even know how to describe it. This is the raised side. You can see how the snowflake right there is raised. Oh, look it, I have snowflakes on my finger. Um, that's raised. When I turn it over, it's sunken in. Some people use either, they use either side. I prefer to use the raised side. Okay. All right. Let's make sure that's centered. This looks like it's a little off, so let me move it. Hi, Stacy. Welcome. Happy Tuesday. Okay, there's three layers. And then what I did to cover up this part that did not get embossed was I pulled a piece from our Peaceful Prints designer series paper. So it's all grays and silvers and whites. And I took the side that had snowflakes and then there's silver snowflakes. So there is a little bit of gold foiling in this. And we're going to adhere this on that part that does not have embossing. Very simple easy card layout. If you can cut paper and you know your fractions, <laughs> you can do this. Embossing is not hard at all. You need a um, cut and emboss machine. Some people 
have the old big shot. Some people use other machines that do the same thing. All right, so there's our card base. Okay, now let's start building a little more to this to make it interesting because right now I don't have a focal point, do I? All right, I stamped our sentiment. It says Christmas wishes and joyful greetings. I also cut it out with the die. I cut it out again on cherry cobbler. And what I'm thinking of doing is splitting it in half to create a mat around it, but we'll, we'll see if that works. I was kind of, or we could kind of go off like that. We'll see. I've already stamped my snowman. I colored his scarf and the berries. I'm going to finish by coloring the leaves. All right. So let me do that. And I'm just pulling my stamping blends on this particular job. You could do stamping blends. You could also use um, stamping right markers. I'm not really doing any blending on this. I'm just using one color. This green is the light shaded spruce. And then I used the dark cherry cobbler. I'm also going to color the carrot. And so I pulled dark pumpkin pie and I'm just going to fill in his carrot nose. All right. Now I'm going to show you one with the hat colored in, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like without the hat colored in. So this one I colored with black and this one is not colored. I'm actually going to leave this hat not colored just for a different, okay, for something different. We'll use this guy on another card. Okay, so he's going to go here. We're also going to pull, hello, Lisa. Thanks for joining us. I'm going to pull those wonderful snowflakes. One side is pearlescent. The other side is a flat white. We're going to want that shine, that shimmer. So we're going to use the opalescent side or pearlescent, I should say. Put that behind. And then let's see what we're going to do with our sentiment here. I feel like the mat is going to make it too much, too much. And I don't want to take away from our snowflake. So we might not use the mat. We might just adhere the white label. Okay. And that's going to be our card layout. So let's get to adhering. Now, this would be perfect if I had my silicone mat and it's hiding somewhere. It always seems to hide because these are intricate. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to take a little scrap of paper because I don't, like I said, I don't want to get my adhesive on my placemat because it will rip. All right. You can rip your, your project that you're working on. And we don't want that. What I'm doing right now is placing my snowman right on top so I can kind of see where I want that snowflake. Okay. And then I'm going to pop our snowflake with some dimensionals. I pulled my U-Pick tool. I love my U-Pick tool. I use it all the time. Just getting off the little gumminess from um, my salmon dimensionals. And we're going to put a couple there. Let me grab some scissors. Whenever I fill up, when I use all the little stop signs, I still use the outside also. Oop, so I don't want to waste that because it still does the job. Okay. All right, and I'm going to use three pieces to just make sure he's well supported and he's not going to cave in on me. All right, there he is. And then 
my sentiment. Now the sentiment can get popped up also. I'll probably put three pieces on this one too because it's pretty wide. And I just, I don't like it when my my pieces cave in in the middle. I like them to be supported. Okay, now we can add a little bit of bling to this if we want. We've got some silver foiling right here. So let's put a couple rhinestones on. All right, they can be somewhere floating around our snowflake um, background here. Okay. And I like odd numbers, so I'm just going to do three. All right, there's our first card. Now I am going to put an insert on this card. So let's see. I am going to use that piece I showed you in the very beginning where I embossed using the dies. Okay, and then we're going to use a mat on the inside and then our paper. All right, and I'm going to stamp. This says Christmas wishes and joyful greetings. I think I want to use black on the inside. Thanks, Linda. I appreciate it. I'm glad you like this. Very easy and yet striking. Okay. The only thing is those snowflakes, I can't stamp on them. So this is going to go a little lower than I normally stamp. But that's because I've got these embossed snowflakes on here. But it was so pretty, I had to put it in to show you what you've got in that die set. And I really feel that doing a double mat on the inside of your card just really sets it off. I don't always do it, but every so often I do, and it's just so pretty. It makes it look more professional, I think, and finished. Okay. Let's see, you can see those snowflakes embossed. All right, there's the inside of our card. Cute. Right. Okay. Next card. Next card. All right. This one, we've got some trees that we've stamped. Then I took this die and I put it on a piece of white paper, basic white paper, and I cut it. And now we've got some snow. All right. So we're going to use that. We've got another snowman. And then we've got our basic gray, again, cherry cobbler mat, different piece of designer series paper. This is um, silver foil snowflakes, stars, and trees. Now, I mentioned that the foil paper, uh, you just got to look it over really well because when it cuts, it doesn't always cut clean. So you, I'm just taking an emery board and I'm just filing any little frayed bits. My blade is actually a brand new blade, but uh, foil paper just cuts a little different. Okay. And I don't want frayed bits on my cards. That does not look professional. So I'm just sanding it. You could also take 
your scissors and do that too and just trim it, you know, if you wanted to, which I might do right here on the corner because I can see a little bit right there. Okay. All right. Let's adhere these layers. I do like the gray with cherry cobbler. I think it's, they're both, um, the cherry cobbler is such a rich color. It's in our regal family. Is it? A, yeah, I think it's a regal. Just you see a couple of those little bits they don't like. So I'm just kind of tucking them under. There we go. All right, then we're going to place this down and we're going to build our seam. So I have those snow banks that we're going to add. Okay, and they're a little bit stitched and we got our snowman here and then we're going to put these stamped trees right behind the snowman. Isn't that cute? Very cute. All right. But I think let's stamp a little sentiment. This one says Happy Christmas, and it's small. We can put it on the snow. All right. Okay, here we go. Down lower. No need to rock your stamps, just even pressure. Okay, so we've got Happy Christmas. And I'm going to adhere this flat. I'm not going to pop it up. I'm going to match it with the white that I already have down. All right, then we're going to put our snowman. Right there, and let's put our trees behind. We don't want to cover up too much of that silver. Okay, I think we'll do that. So let's get some adhesive, and we'll go about right there. So that silver tree is going right in between. Hi, Shelly. Welcome. And then I could pop my snowman. I think my trees are a little crooked. So I'm using my U-Pick tool to kind of help me pry it up. Just go slow, slow and steady. I'm just going to adjust it a little bit because I feel like the tree is leaning too much. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's put some dimensionals on this guy. off the backing and we'll place this here very cute and again you could put some rhinestones in the sky if you want I'll just do a couple All right, easy card. Isn't that cute? 
You guys see it? All right. All right. And then we've got one more card. This one, I am doing a cherry cobbler card base. All right. And then I cut another piece of that paper that we just used on the last card. I'm just going to sand my, my frayed bits right there from the foil. A little bit right here. Want it nice and clean. Okay, I think that looks good. Oh, I gotta put my inside on my other card. Don't let me forget. We have to put insides on our cards. Okay. Let me move this up so you guys can see. I put my camera down a little lower this time, hoping that you guys would be able to see better. But I have to constantly look to make sure I'm in the camera now. <laughs> All right. Then what I did was I cut, using that um, stitch contour dies, I know I'm covering up this, but don't worry. I'm just wanting the little bits in the background, okay? We're going to have some more sparkle on here. So then I cut a piece, a different piece from the same pack of paper, small enough to fit inside, but I cut it so that we can see the stitching on that die. So that's a fun element. And then we're going to add a snowflake, one of those wonderful snowflakes, and our snowman. Isn't that cute? Very easy. Easy peasy. Now we could let's let's adhere this and then we have to decide if we're what if and what we're going to uh, pop up with dimensions. That's always the big question, right? What parts do I want to pop? Don't cover up this beautiful stitching. So you could pop up the snowflake, you could pop your snowman, but you could also pop this piece too. You could do that. Think we should go for it? I say we go for it. I'm going to use some of my little mini ones because those little pieces, those little remnants that I'm using um, are not making it easy right now. So I'm just going to use the little guys. Now, oops, the wonderful snowflakes, they are laser cut. You just want to make sure that all the pieces are out, that you don't have um, any little scraps in there. So I'm just cleaning it, making sure it's nice and clear and it doesn't have any little pieces that are still hanging on. Okay, and we're just going to, I put one Stampin' Dimensional right there. And then let's pop our snowman. These guys are smaller, so I'm going to use a little bit more than I normally would use. Okay. All right. I got a stop sign on my paper there. I think I got all the others. There's one hanging on. Okay. I decide, do I want to cover that middle part up or not? Yeah, I'm just going to put him right in the middle. And then let's pop this piece up. I don't think I've done a single bow tonight, you guys. Oh my goodness gracious. If you're a regular follower of mine, you know that I do bows. 
I love to put bows on. I haven't done a single bow tonight. <laughs> and yes, I'm feeling well. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like they didn't need him tonight. Isn't that funny? I know. Shocker, Linda. I could always change, though. I'm, I might take it back. <laughs> all right. Now, this one has all the nice foiling. I don't feel we need any embellishments on this card. Okay, but we need to put our insides on these two guys. So let's do that, all right? So I'm going to put basic gray on the inside with my white. This one, I'm going to stamp some snowflakes. Actually, you know what? No, I'll use the embossed snowflakes on this one. I'll do stamp snowflakes on the other one. All right, we'll do that. And this doesn't have any sentiment on here. So I think I'm going to use the smaller one just because of the embossed um, snowflakes. This is going to say Happy Christmas. And then I can write whatever I want to write on it. Okay, so... There we go. Linda, have you seen that bear in your neck of the woods? Linda posted a paw print of a bear that was in her, around her house. And it was huge. I know, Linda, it's my fault. This stamp set is phenomenal. I've had it. I bought it last year when it came out, and I admitted I haven't used the stamp set enough. I need to use it more because after playing with it, I'm in love with it. I really do like the detail in the stamp set. It's so realistic. Okay, so there's the inside. And then let's do... The last one. You haven't seen him for a few days. Oh, people chased it off. Goodness, I would be too afraid to chase it off. He was huge. I'm surprised he's out. Okay. Now this one I'm going to put some snowflakes on. And I have to decide what color snowflakes. Let's see. Because we're going to put a sentiment on here which I think we'll do in, let's do the sentiment in Cherry Cobbler. And then I'll do our snowflakes in black or gray. I realized I don't have a basic gray stamp pad. I was looking for it. I'm like, I don't think I have one, which is weird because I bought them as bundles. But I couldn't find one. I don't think I have it. Weird, weird, weird. I don't use gray a lot, to be perfectly honest. But I sure do like it with this designer series paper and the cherry cobbler really sets it off. I do that one. Let's do this like that. Oh, flying cards. I have sticky fingers. All right, I'm going to show you all three cards we made and we'll call it good. 
All right, there's this one. I close my ink pad so I don't put something in the ink that doesn't need to be in the ink. And then we've got this card and this card. Aren't those lovely? Let me put up a little higher so you can see them. Okay. Tell me which one is your favorite. Which one do you like the best? Which one is your favorite? I got to tell you, I am in love with those snowflakes. I ordered some more so I have them because I don't know if they're going to carry over or not. And I really, really like this stamp set. I've always liked snowmen, though. Which one is your favorite? You like them all. Well, thank you. Thank you, thank you. I'm so glad. And they're really easy cards. They're not hard. They're not hard at all. Oh, thank you, Lisa. It is a fun stamp set, Stacy. Mm-hmm. Yep. I highly recommend if you're going to get the stamp set, though, you want to get the dies. <laughs> All right, guys. Remember, tomorrow is the last day for subscribing to Paper Pumpkin if you're going to get the gifts galore set. And I will see you this week. It's going to be a little different. Normally, I'm on Friday nights and Tuesday nights. But this weekend, it is on stage, which is our convention that we um, attend as demonstrators. So I am going to be doing that Friday night. So I will see you Thursday. Um, Thursday is still on stage, and that's when they show us um, our achievements and whatnot. So I might come on a little bit earlier than I normally do Thursday, just so I don't miss out on that. So I have to look at the time on, on stage to see when it starts in the evening, and then I'll post something. I'll post something, I think, tomorrow. So I will be on Thursday night with my um, second live of the week instead of Friday. Okay. All right, guys. I hope you have a great night and stay safe, stay dry, stay warm, stay healthy, and I will see you soon. Okay. Bye-bye.